How's everyone doing? This is Oz from Oz Mechanics and today I'm going to be working on a 2008 Dodge Charger 2.7 liter engine and on this one we have a customer complaint that the engine was overheat. Well, it was getting hot he noticed that it was bubbling. Uh, he, uh, water would actually come out from the uh, reservoir tank or the recovery tank um, and the fans wouldn't turn on so um, he tried to do some little stuff to it, you know, change out the thermostat, uh, bleed out the, the air system, uh, the cooling system, and still is doing the same issue. So uh, today I'm going to talk about the cooling system and then we're going to go to the fix and uh, so you can understand this a little bit more. Okay, so let's go to the cooling system. I got an illustration right here of an uh, engine. You got the engine right here. You got the radiator right there. And you got the heater core over here. So essentially what the cooling system does, it um, basically you're trying to heat up the, the coolant so everything can work at optimum uh, efficiency, you know, operating temperature. Uh, normally operating temperature is around 212 degrees so essentially what happens and you have your thermostat right there essentially what happens you turn on your vehicle water circulates through the through the engine and as soon as it reaches the the spe specific temperature water is kind of lingers right here and as soon as it hits like 190 185 200 degrees so on d depending on what thermostat you have the thermostat opens allows water to go into the radiator and this radiator re radiator has some fins uh, the radiator can get cooled down to uh, in two ways uh, one way is the ram air that's when you're driving and air cools down the uh, the the radiator or you have a radiator fan uh, old, older vehicles have the clutch style one that's driven by the belt and newer vehicles have uh, another one that is electrical uh, so as the water flows down through here it cools down and recirculates into the engine and that's how the engine cools down uh, so now we have to talk about what can cause the engine to overheat uh, it can be a closed thermostat it can be a radiator that is clogged can be even the fan that's not working uh, and, but we have to look at we ha I have to ask the customer when does it overheat and how long like an example if the if the car only overheats when you're idling and it is driving and is not overheating when you're driving a suspicion would probably be a bad fan um, if a car overheats pretty fast and say in a couple of minutes uh, you might just have a thermostat that's stuck and the the water that's in here and is getting pretty hot is not gonna it's not gonna it's not gonna go out because the thermostat is stuck so it's just gonna circulate in here and due to the the high temperature of the combustion is gonna overheat so that's a little description on that um, let me show you what we have over here on this customer's vehicle. So, on this customer's vehicle, he actually had two issues. Uh, like I explained, uh, the fan wasn't turning on, and you know that's going to cause the the water to actually get uh, get hot and boil. And on top of that, this has a recovery tank right here. So when he would drive the vehicle, it would start spewing out coolant from the side. Uh, on these recovery tanks, once it gets to a certain temperature, it starts spewing out coolant. So that, that's what was going on with this one. So I had I wanted to address the, the, the first one, and that was the radiator fans. Uh, on these newer vehicles, what they have is a coolant temperature sensor. And that's what I went straight to uh, I noticed that the fans weren't turning on so I checked out the integrity of the wire and everything was going good so what I did I just replaced the, the temperature cooling sensor right there 
Uh, we ran it for a little bit, about 15, 20 minutes, and guess what? The fan started turning on. But we had another issue. It still had that that uh, boiling, spewing, uh, cooling coming out from the recovery tank. And I'm going to show you the fix on that one. All right, so you have these called a radiator cap. So what these radiator caps do, they kind of keep the coolant inside inside the system. They have two seals. Uh, sorry for that. They got the bottom seal and the top seal. The bottom seal and the base of it, as you see right there, that doesn't allow the cooling to actually come out of the the cooling system. And this top seal right here, as you can see, there's I don't know if you can see right there. It says 18 pounds. Okay, so as soon as the system gets to uh, this, can only hold 18 pounds. Some cars go 15, 16. That's uh, that, that's basically the generic. Uh, a number right there 15 or 16 but what it does uh, let's use an analogy uh, pressure cookers what happens with, with a pressure cooker as it gets hot it builds pressure and you uh, start steaming out so essentially that's what happens in the system we have water cooling and that starts to build up pressure and spews it out so uh, on, the, on, on, on these vehicles when it starts getting t too much pressure this goes down and allows it to come out the recovery tank and that's what was going on with this one so to test these out you can rent these from AutoZone O'Reilly's and let me hook this up so what I'm going to do I'm going to try to build up pressure and let's see this is the original one nothing gonna put the new one the new one on there you see you push it and it builds up pressure you see the bars the green bar is 17 to 19 so once we get to 18 pounds it stops right there and it's tracks so that was basically the fix on there it was a bad radiator cap and a bad coolant temp sensor with the new coolant temp sensor we're actually getting uh, we're getting the fans to turn on and with the bad radiator cap we're allowing the coolant to actually stay in with the old with the old uh, cap even if it got to one pound two pounds three pounds it would allow the the cooling to come out with the new one it would let it go to the recommended pounds thank you for watching please subscribe and uh, comment you have a nice day bye